Hey guys, it's Slink here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to use Touch OSC, specifically with Serato. Um, I got, I've been getting lots of emails on how to do it, and and uh, basically JPod showed me, so props to him. But um, I'm going to make a little video and hopefully run through how it works, and, and you guys can start doing it on your sets as well, because I, I think it's really cool to get down on your on the dance floor with your iPhone and mess with the effects. So first thing you want to do is obviously buy Touch OSC from the App Store. It's like six bucks, pretty cheap, well worth it. Um, and then what you want to do is go to the website and download the Touch OSC editor. Um, just Google Touch OSC editor and you'll find it. Um, so next thing you want to do is open up Touch OSC editor. This is going to enable you to make your own a uh, little custom patch uh, template as they call it. I'll show you mine, the one that I use. Um, just open up Touch OSC. There you go. So I've got like an X and, a few X and Y pads with a bunch of options on the side here. Um, got a sampler with the four banks, uh, volume for the sampler, and your key points. So you can get really creative with it, um, and you can add a bunch of options. It's just uh, uh, an issue of space, really. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do the, the X and Y pad, because that's probably the most, the most difficult thing to line up. And there's heaps of tweaks you can do, so hopefully um, I can explain it well enough for you guys to check it out. So getting back to our <coughs> Touch OSC, uh, we've got a blank iPhone here. So if we just right click and click on the XY pad, we can make an XY pad, which we size it nice and big, and um, oh, we'll make we'll make it we'll make it um, purple, hey? Yeah, so that looks pretty badass. All right. Um, so next thing we're going to do is get that template on our iPhone. So what we'll do, we'll just quickly save it as uh, X. X Y pad and just save that there. So we'll click sync and that will allow us to copy the template onto our iPhone. So it'll bring up this box and tell you to do stuff. Basically what you do is well first of all you need to make a um, a connection between your Mac and your iPhone. So you click your airport and um, just create a network here, name it whatever you want, Slink, and uh, and now, going back to the iPhone, what you need to do is connect to that wireless network obviously, it's pretty easy, you just click on Slink, you can add a password if you want, but I don't bother, um, and, and now what we do is we open up Touch OSC, and I just click the I to go back to the menu. And under layout, you can click here and choose your layout. That's mine there that I've already made. Um, and we want the one that we just saved. So let's hit add. It'll find the host because we're connected to the same network. Download it. And booyah, there it is at the bottom. So click that one there. Click done. And hello, we've got a purple XY pad. Now, what we need to do is send those MIDI channels from my iPhone to Serato. So what we need to do is open up Osculator. Let me just, let me just close this down first. I'll get rid of that. <coughs> so Osculator, I think you can download it on the, um, the same site as, as where we got Touch OSC Editor. But anyway, just Google it, you'll find it. Osculator, open that baby up and we've got a fresh new template here with nothing on there. So let's move it over to the side. And what, what happens is, uh, oh, we need to change the setting. Just make sure that you've got this setting on. So in options, um, in RSC, uh you want to make sure that this is on send Z messages. And the Z message is the message that is sent when you first click down on on a knob or an X and Y pad and it just gives you um, I'll, well I'll talk a bit more about it later so if we just go back to done and do some stuff here 
you'll see in Osculator that these these messages have shown up and um, so this zero here that'll be either the X or the Y I forget that's the X, that's the Y and then that's the Z so we'll just change all of these to MIDI CC and we'll just give them any value, it doesn't really matter 0, 1, 2 and there we go now what we're going to do, obviously open up Serato and uh, start assigning those messages, those, uh, those things to some effects so we'll open up the effects part first here, when, when Serato loads too many crates there we go, Not that one alright, click this button here, get more options alright, so we'll click MIDI up the top here and as you can see I've already got a bunch of stuff already set um, so I'm gonna have to reset everything after I do this video but that's cool, I'm doing it for you guys <laughs> so down here um, this is how I did it, so I'm sure there's many other ways you can do it with, with something else but what I've linked up is with that Z control, the Z control is when you first press down on, on the XY pad and so what we want that to do is to turn on the effects and then when you let go for the effects to turn back off again uh, and to do that it's pretty easy really just um, go back to Osculator and for the time being we'll just turn 1 and 0 off because they're the X and Y's we just want Z and we don't want the X and Y to get confused with the, with the Z so we'll just turn them off for the time being coming back to Serato click there and then we'll just tap the XY and as you can see it's come up there as channel 1 and it's in absolute mode so we'll press C a couple of times to get it into on off mode there we go relative on off mode and um, so, so that's set it's good to go just give it a little test here okay so what we want is when I'm clicking down it's turning off and when we're letting go it's turning on and that's a problem um, we can try pressing tab to reverse the signal um, I don't know if that'll work it probably won't oh yeah it did well wow, look at that <laughs> so now when I press it down it turns on and when I let go it turns off beautiful now Let's go back to uh, Osculator and we'll just turn on one of these. I've just turned on one, I'm going to turn Z off because um, now we want to assign the. I forget which one's which, honestly. I think that one's X and that one's Y or something. Doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> so down here, let's. We've got a flanger going here. Um, let's assign this to flanger. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, so so this knob here is actually connected to the depth, and the depth is what really you know messes with the sound. So let's uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's set it to that knob. All right, so I just click the button, click the knob, sorry, and uh, do some stuff here, and there you have it. It's assigned, and. Um, We'll just leave it in absolute mode, that's cool. Just give a little test to make sure it's working here. Oh yeah, look at that. Alright, and so we'll do the same for the other one. What we'll have is a flanger on the Y and a, um, an L, a low pass filter on the X. So what I've done is I've just turned 1 off and 0 back on and uh, we'll go back to Serato here and assign the depth again to, actually what happens when I move that? yeah, I'll just use the depth All right. <clears throat> so just click it, ready to assign, move this a bit and there you go it's good to go now, um, <clears throat> what will happen, what you'll find is um, so I'll just turn MIDI off for the time being because we're pretty much set up 
um, turn these on. You can actually add buttons in your patch to turn these on and off. Okay, you can imagine like flanger on, low pass filter on, and it's pretty simple. Same thing, relative mode, or uh, relative on off mode, and you know, just assign a button. But what you might find, and this is where it gets complicated, is you might find that the low pass filter is just too much. You know, when you get to like the corner, it's just you can't hear anything, and you don't want that. You want it to be like cool so you can go all the way around and it just sounds cool. So um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll play a track real quick and you can hear what, what we've got lined up here already. I'm um, just fine. <clears throat> Alright, let's put this in internal mode. Oh fuck, I haven't got it turned on. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Let me just sort.